Welcome to the commemorative Air Force Southern California Wing Air Museum, where the past doesn't just come alive, it flies right over your head. If you're a history buff, an aviation enthusiast, or just someone who's binge watched too many World War II documentaries, this place is basically Disneyland, but with shorter lines, fewer ears on the hats, and more convenient parking. Furthermore, it's in Camarillo Airport, a short half hour drive from my home in the Santa Monica Mountains. Now this isn't just any museum, Sure, there are exhibits of lovely restored war birds, tales of heroism, and enough aviation history to satisfy any warbird nut. But there's also something that you won't find in most museums, the smell of airplane fuel and the distant roar of aircraft engines. That's right. At this museum, the planes don't just sit around looking pretty. They still get plenty of sky time. Case in point, this absolute icon is Doc, a B-29 bomber the final word in bombers from World War II, one of only two that is currently airworthy anywhere in the world. During our visit, she was in town for a special event, showing off all 141 feet of wingspan and those four thundering radial engines. You don't just see this plane, you feel it in your bones when it takes off. Just taxiing by it was an experience I'll never forget. Talk about a showstopper. But let's be honest, most trips to an aviation museum felt a bit incomplete without getting yourself into the air. Enter the Fairchild PT-19A Cornell Primary Trainer, a trusty open-top beauty from 1943 that still flies like a dream. Because who doesn't love the idea of pretending to be a World War II pilot for a day? This baby right here helped pilots learn the ropes during World War II. It's basically the aviation equivalent of learning to drive a classic car, if that classic car also happens to let you fly a couple of thousand feet with wind whipping through your hair. Top Gun vibes? Oh yeah. What's got two thumbs and got to ride on one? This guy. Time to put on the pilot's cap and take to the skies in a plane that's got more stories to tell than a grandparent at Thanksgiving. As the engine hummed to life and the ground dropped away, it hit me. This is the real deal. The open cockpit meant that I wasn't just flying in a plane, I was part of the sky. And let me tell you, the view from up here, well, it makes traffic on the 101 look a little less soul crushing. Pro tip, if you can pass for being even slightly competent, the pilot may let you take the controls for a little while to see how this baby handles. Believe me, it's no Cessna 172. The controls are all push rods, not a bunch of cables and pulleys, so there's an immediacy to all your control inputs. It's the most neutral handling plane I've ever experienced. My pilot, Colonel Robert of the Commemorative Air Force, was a great pilot and demonstrated what this flying piece of history can do. I could not have loved the experience more. And just like that, I was back on solid ground. A little windswept, but totally stoked. There's something humbling about flying in a machine that's over 80 years old, but still handles like a dream. Makes you appreciate the engineering that went into these birds and the pilots who flew them. So if you ever find yourself near Camarillo and you've got a love for all things aviation, do yourself a favor. Come to the commemorative Air Force Museum. Take a walk through history, listen to the roar of the engines, and if you're lucky, or just happen to have a good friend sign you up in advance, climb into a piece of history and experience it for yourself. Because trust me, there's nothing quite like flying a World War II era plane with nothing but the blue sky above you. Until next time, keep your eyes in the skies and your seatbelt fastened tight. Thanks for watching.